Ladies and gentlemen, I do not mean to alarm you, but according to the interwebs, this could be the biggest threat to our national security since the invention of the Chinese spy balloon. According to the online forums, the Chai comms are up to no good and they have flooded the U.S. market with these very highly sophisticated, low-cost spying devices. And according to those experts in the online forums, they have been using these devices to spy on unsuspecting Americans. Someone even posted a comment on one of my videos claiming that his UV5R was repeatedly trying to connect to his Wi-Fi and to his phone via the Bluetooth, thereby proving that this is a spying device. Now, of course, because I have an actual functioning brain, my usual gut response to these claims is they're just a bunch of paranoid morons that don't know what they're talking about. But my friend, upon much deep inner reflection, I came to the realization that in my closed mindedness, I might be the one that's the moron. And perhaps it is I that doesn't know what I am talking about. So I will ignore the fact that there is no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth circuitry of any kind in the Bufuang UV5R. And for the purposes of this video, I will entertain the possibility that the Chicoms could be listening in on me right now on this very radio. I'll have a number 12 with extra teriyaki sauce, please. So to test this theory, that the UV5R is actually a CHICOM spy device, and to do my part to help ensure the safety and security of these United States, I will perform a simple test to see if the UV5R is transmitting anything when I'm not looking. To help me do this, I will be using my Night Security KT9000RF detector, which will detect any radio waves anywhere in the range of one my gigahertz all the way up to 12 gigahertz. hertz. So if this radio transmits a regular radio signal, a Wi-Fi signal, a Bluetooth signal, a CDMA signal, or even a microwave signal, pretty much any radio signal, this device will detect it and alert us. So for example, if I key up on the radio, the night security KT9000 will detect that and alert us with the LEDs and the little annoying noise that it just made. If there is a Bluetooth signal nearby, for example, from this Bluetooth mouse, I will be alerted to that. If there is a satellite signal, a signal going to a secret satellite, such as a signal that would come from this Garmin satellite communicator, that will also be detected, as well as any signal from my phone. Even though it's in airplane mode, it's already detecting something coming out of the phone. And if I take it off of airplane mode, it really starts screaming. And because I do not know if it's only old UV5Rs or new UV5Rs that the Chicoms are using to spy on us, I have here an assortment of UV5R radios, one that was manufactured in 2014, one that was manufactured in 2018, and one that was manufactured in 2022. So I will turn all of these radios on. I will calibrate my night security KT9000 so that the gain is not too high, so that it's not picking up signals from my Wi-Fi cameras or my Wi-Fi router. And I will leave it here amongst the Bufuang UV5Rs, and I will set a timer and I will sit here staring at them for several minutes to see if any signals are coming out of the radios and being secretly transmitted back to the Chicom home base. As you can see, the radios are functional. They are receiving signals, but so far they have not made any calls back to the Chicom home base.
So as you just saw with your very own eye holes, it has been over five minutes and there have been no nefarious emissions from any of these radios. So does this prove that the Tricoms are not using these radios to spy on us? Well, as you math hole magicians know, it is very difficult to prove a negative. So it is still technically possible that this $25 device has some other highly sophisticated way of secretly gathering information and getting that information back to the Chicoms. But anyone that actually believes that probably also believes that wearing a mask at a football game or at the grocery store actually kept them safe.